Something that's new for FeatureCam 2011 is the ability to create genuine stock models inside the product. So in the past what we would have had to do is we would have had to create a uh, toolpath operation, simulate it, save the simulation results and then use that saved STL as a uh, stock model to work from. Now we actually have stock models inside FeatureCam. Now this is at the early stages of development. Uh, in this example, uh, we can only use the Z-level roughing operations, uh, but we can use it in, in uh, different orientations or different setups. So to instigate this, first thing we need to do is just going from your uh, right-click control menu is using uh, use DMK work planes because this is using the DMK libraries at the moment. This option needs to be switched on. So I'm going to select everything. I'm going to go into my milling operations. I'm going to create a feature, Z-level rough, boss operation. Just go to the tool selection. And I'm just going to change to a large tool. This is an imperial part, so I've got a one-inch tool. Let's say finish. Under the roughing tab, I'm just going to change the milling increment to be 0.2 of a millimeter. Sorry, 0.2 of an inch set apply. So that's my uh, feature created, so let's run through and create the quick toolpath. So we just calculate that roughing operation. So that's the initial toolpath that we've created. So the next thing we want to do is I want to generate a rest roughing operation from this. So we go to our stock model, uh, model area, which is under the part view, so this is a new option. I'm going to create a new one, I'm going to call this rest top and I'm going to select this operation to be our operation to work with say OK and what you'll notice is we now have a stop model in here um, that's being generated from our operation so once we've done that we can now create a new operation so I'm just going to say hide all features select everything again and create a new surface milling operation Single operation Z level rough. Again, all the same uh, operations. Just going to use a smaller tool, so a half inch tool this time. Say finish. And under the roughing, I'm just going to change the increment to be 0.1. Set and apply. So at the moment, this is generating a full tool path. So if I go in and say just play this operation, we get our initial roughing. get our extra tool path. So you can see all the extra cutting that it's taken to work its way around this part. So it's cutting areas and air cutting on the part which is unnecessary in this particular instance. So what we want to do is we want to apply the stock model that we've generated and we do this through the stock tab of the feature itself. simulation. Let's go into the properties, into Z level and choose the stock option and you can see we've got the default original options that we had but we can now select. In this case I'm just going to enter, type the name in just to reference that one, to apply and say OK. And let's just actually go into the properties and just preview this toolpath this time without previous operation. We should see much more efficient trimming of the toolpath based on the previous stop model. Like so. So we can repeat this operation. So we're going to create a new setup on this back area here. So I'm going to create a new stock model based on this surface milling operation. So let's go into create a stop model. This one we call rest side. Select an operation. So I'm going to select this one. Say OK. So we've now got rest side and rest top. And again I'm going to hide all the features and I'm going to create a new setup. So into the properties, new setup, align to a stock face. Let's go to the back face in the center and say finish. This is our new setup orientation. I'm going to select 
all these feature parts again. Single operation, Z level rough. Slouch for a slightly taller tool to select, say finish. And again, we want to reference the stock, so we go into the stock tab, choose the stock, and this again, we want to call this one side and apply. Under the roughing tab, again, we're going to set an increment of 0.1 millimeter, sorry, 0.1 of an inch again, and apply. I'm also going to just restrict the depth of this just to go to the base of this pocket, so in this case, and apply, and OK. So that's all of our operations. I can now go into the properties of this one, preview this toolpath, and press play. And you'll notice it's decided not to cut in this region because it knows that material has been removed. It's simply cutting around these edges of the part that it believes is still there based on the previous operations. So the final thing to do is just go in and do a 3D simulation just to show all the operations. We have our resulting model.